Hello everyone, it's me again, Sherry. Welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago, I posted something about I'm a self-taught engineer and people got mad. I mean, I mean, why not? It's a thing now, and not not everyone understand it. Maybe, maybe I think the reason they got mad is because I didn't mention I'm a software engineer. I know you have to go to school, of course you have to go to school if you are construction engineer, chemical engineer, whatever. But, because, you know, my channel is mostly focused on tech people and I didn't, I didn't know, Instagram is going to spread to everyone. These results, my reel got viral. Everyone is commenting, mostly negative comments about, um, about what is self-taught engineer. How could that possible? Sorry if I didn't mention software because I didn't know you guys are gonna see me. But I'm a self taught engineer. I'm a software engineer, so I can do the things that every software engineer is doing. I can do the things that every software engineer is doing. I repeat that. I say it. I have been in this field for more than five years and then I have done that. I've done a lot of things, I've been to lost. Yeah, so I claimed the title as a self-taught software engineer and let me show you how. So this video is mostly about it's like a rock man that I think he, you can follow. Um about me, how did I get started and stuff? I mean I think I have done this video before but I think it's great to do that again because uh, maybe you haven't seen the video, maybe it's I might put it somewhere, I don't know, but so I started with HTML and CSS. I mean, becoming a software engineer is like, you cannot become a software engineer straight away. Straight away, you cannot because you need to learn from the job. Like the goal is to learn from the job. The goal is to be able to learn from the job so you will transition you into a software engineer. So I started my career as a front-end developer, um, which is, I use React um, in my job. For like a few years, no, 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 for like a few months, and then I got fired <laughs> because, well, it, it's the process. I got fired because I didn't have enough um, experience in that, and then I got the job at a startup. I mean, if you wanted to get a job in tech and you have no experience, start with startup. So I got a job, um, and I get fired, and then I have no choice. I have to get back to F and B again. And then I just continue learning and learning and then I apply for a job again and again. I got an interview um, as a, how do you say, junior developer, which I, um, I work as a um, developer, QA testing, you know, about a student tech. So, <clears throat> so for example, I'm mostly dealing with full stack like jQuery, Vue.js, Laravel, PHP, C Sharp. MySQL, Postgres, um, mostly in that because um, I'm a developer, you know, I develop application, develop. and slowly and slowly and slowly, it takes time, and you will get to know all of the skills in engineering, software engineering, okay, software engineering, um, how to maintain database, how to build the scalable applications because I've done freelancing and those kind of stuff. I mean, you, and you will slowly you will understand about data structures, how to use the best algorithm, how to um, make a scalable, maintainable applications. All those things that you wanted to learn about software engineering, you will learn that throughout the years. I mean, you don't get to software engineering straight away because that's just impossible. So that's not impossible, it's just a little bit hard, so you gotta start somewhere small. It's the same as like, a, if you wanted to get a job in as a machine learning engineer. You don't go into a machine learning engineer, but you started with a data analyst, because that's an entry level job. So if you are, if you are a, if you have no experience, get some entry level jobs and work on that slowly, slowly, and slowly transitioning into your desired career. Because you will learn along the way, you'll meet a lot of people, you know, they will teach you a lot of things. So the goal is, don't become, 
you would you are not gonna get your favorite jobs at first you are going to get a job that you don't really want in the beginning because you have to learn the skills in order to be able to transition into something better in the future so now i consider myself as a software engineer it's because throughout all these years i have learned a lot of things i understand a lot of things i teach people as well i mean i can't tell you what my skills is but i understand all the things everything that every software engineer is is doing object oriented programming cloud provider cloud services um database design database maintenance what else um api design um and then also software engineering is not just about coding maintaining coding database blah blah, blah. i mean those are important but the other thing that's important is how do you be able to communicate with your user if you're stakeholders and stuff you need to understand the business standpoint how to save cost how to um how to deliver the best results in a shorter time how to make the application faster those kind of thing it's part of the engineering process and you will learn that throughout all of your, all of your experience people is going to think that it's not possible but they don't know about what have you been through you will learn through the job you will learn through the job so get an entry-level job before thinking about the big goals you're gonna get in there first step your foot your feet in there in tech and then you can go further as i say as i've said it's the similar situations as becoming a machine learning engineer get a job in data analyst first learn about sql learn about how to design database learn about how to clean database how to maintain database how to how to provide the best data set you can to your models how to make sure you understand your data how to you explain the data to people how do you present your data to your business provide to your stakeholders how do you think this data is important to the business how do you think the data is important to um, the future that we need it how do you maintain the data that how do you maintain it to be uh, to be like a scalable data set that because you know data is going to grow how do you maintain it those kind of thing you know because if you want to become a machine learning engineer it's all about data 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 if you want to become a software engineer it's all about experience engineering save time um this kind of thing so remember my tips um you will learn through your experience if people are not going to believe in you just let them be people is always going to be jealous of who you are your success no matter um what have you been through? I work 10 times harder than most graduate when they are having their vacation breaks or whatever. I study days and night while working part time. I use the textbook that they probably they gonna, not going to use that. I study the lectures online from MIT and YouTube that they are not going to even attend the lectures in real life. So people are not going to be happy for success anyway. So. Just be yourself, and if you have any questions, just um, comment down below. And if you like this video, if I have provided you some insight, um, information, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I will continue to post more updates and stuff because I am in the mood. I'm I am full on to train more self-taught people to join a tech because you don't really need a degree for that for four years you can but if you cannot afford that it's fine i'm here for you all the best bye see you soon and don't forget to give me a thumbs up